Catching threats is a tricky business, especially if you don't know what these threats are. To tackle this problem, for many years, cybersecurity researchers have been using a technology called honeypots. So today we'll talk to our security expert, Dan Demeter, who is also the head of Kaspersky's Honeypot project. He will tell us what honeypots are and how they can be used to protect your organization. Hi, Dan. Could you please tell me what are honeypots? A honeypot is a special piece of software that tries to emulate a vulnerable device. Those devices can be um, from a wide variety of ranges, such as light bulbs, um, cameras, like home security cameras, uh, fridges, microwaves. The idea is to um, deploy those honeypots publicly on the internet instead of um, setting up real devices. You do that because you want to um, be able to identify and to attract attacks and exploits and new vulnerabilities in order to further protect those devices. Why do companies need to set up honeypots? Everybody knows that in order to protect your company, you need to deploy a wide variety of defenses. So you might know that traditionally you have to use like an antivirus or an MDR or an EDR protection in order to make sure that your devices from inside your network are protected. But what about external attacks? Um, what about external services? You might have um, vulnerable devices, or you might have like um, some exposed devices on the internet that you don't know about them. Honeypots help you further strengthen your uh, defense by setting up small decoys in important parts of our network. So when an attacker um, is trying to launch a um, sophisticated attack, he will also hit those honeypots. When that happens, you will be notified that a connection or um, an attempted access has been registered on a honeypot system, which shouldn't have registered that event in the first place. Tell me a bit about how we work with organizations when it comes to our honeypot project. When we're talking about deploying honeypots, it's very important to have a higher visibility of um, the attack surface. That's why it's very important to have like partnerships with um, other uh, vendors or like ISPs or um, research groups on the internet in order to cooperate and collaborate to detect new attacks. We at Kaspersky are constantly looking to um, improve and strengthen partnerships with different research groups or ISPs in the world in order to detect new waves of attacks. We do that by um, offering our revolutionary idea of Honeypots as a service, which basically consists of um, us setting up the entire Honeypot infrastructure for you. You just have to set up or deploy uh, nodes in your network, and then we connect those together. We analyze, aggregate, and we identify attacks, and we offer to our partners, we offer them statistics, passwords, uh, attacker used passwords, and every other kind of um, interesting artifacts they might be useful for research. So it's a win-win situation. You don't have to set up or deploy the honeypots by yourself. We manage them, and we help you protect better protect your network. In the following video, I will show you how easy it is to set up a honeypot system. As I mentioned before. It's very important and we recommend to all our partners and all our research um, our friends to set up Honeypots, mostly because you want to have the best visibility inside your network as possible. As I mentioned before, setting up Honeypot is very easy. You basically need to emulate a vulnerable device and you need to place this vulnerable device inside your network. In the following video, I will show you how to easily set up the most basic Honeypot possible which is an SSH honeypot in order to see attackers trying to brute force known logins and passwords. Here's a simple tutorial on how to run an SSH honeypot in your network. It's really easy to deploy it because today we are going to use Kauri, one of the most used open source honeypots. We start by running a Docker instance forwarding incoming connections from port 22 to our instance listening on port 2222. Kauri takes about 5 to 10 seconds to set up and you're good to go. Our honeypot is online. And there you have it! We see login attempts against our honeypot. 
attackers are trying to get in using various login combinations, like user user or root admin. And that's it in a nutshell. You can then parse the logs and start protecting your network by blocking attackers in your edge firewall or looking for very specific logins. A CM can also help um, here in order to automate these tasks. It's also useful to archive these logs if you're doing threat research. Lastly, don't forget to stop your honeypot when it's not needed anymore. In short, honeypots can detect many threats, but not all of them. Relying fully on honeypots will not cut it. You still need a good security solution. If you're interested in setting up honeypots in your network and joining Kaspersky's project, you can contact us via the email below.